Right, and there is a possibility to react this acid with aluminium. So the pickles and milk should not be stored in aluminium vessels. Let's see some of the reactivities of metals with acid. We are going to do an experiment. We are going to compare the reactivities of some metals. on the basis of their reaction with acid okay let's consider the reaction of metals like magnesium zinc iron and copper with dilute hydrochloric acid we know that metals reacts with acid to form corresponding salts and hydrogen gas right that is metal plus acid gives salt plus hydrogen so here we have to take equal amount of dilute hydrochloric acid in each test tube then we have to put equal sized magnesium zinc iron and copper in each test tube what do you observe which metal is highly reactive in acid Yes, magnesium. Magnesium reacts vigorously with dilute hydrochloric acid. Then comes zinc, then iron, and then copper. Copper doesn't have any significant reaction with acids, right? So, among magnesium, zinc, iron, and copper. magnesium is the most reactive metal with acid and copper is the least reactive one copper doesn't have any reaction with acid so what is the reaction yes magnesium reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen then zinc react with dilute hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen similarly iron forms iron chloride and hydrogen then what about copper yes copper doesn't have any reaction so from the reaction with acid as well as with water and air it's understood that different metals differ in their reactivity so we can arrange some metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity and we obtain a series first comes potassium then sodium then calcium then magnesium then aluminium then zinc iron nickel tin lead then comes hydrogen a non metal right then below hydrogen there is copper silver and gold this is a series and it is known as the reactivity series that means the arrangement of metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity do you notice hydrogen in that series what is the role of hydrogen here here hydrogen acts as a screen there are some metal above hydrogen and some metal below hydrogen the metals above hydrogen 
can displace hydrogen when react with acids. What is the meaning of that? Yes, that metals are more reactive than hydrogen. They are more chemically reactive than hydrogen. Then there are some metals below hydrogen, right? And they are the least reactive metals. The metals below hydrogen are less reactive than hydrogen. That means they do not displace hydrogen when react with acids. So, hydrogen is included in that series for the sake of comparison of chemical reactivity of metals. Okay. So, that is the reactivity series. Now, we know that metals have different reactivity and we can arrange the metals on the basis of decreasing of their reactivity. Then, there are some another reactions of metals. Let's see them later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.